Hi everybody. Welcome back to my studio. I wanted to show you how to finish off a punch needle. This one's round. We're gonna I'll show you how to clip the edges and iron it back towards the back, add the wool, and then stitch it up. Alrighty, first of all, you want to clip around the weaver's cloth to about a half an inch to three quarter inch around the punch needle. And then you want to clip this edge, this weaver's cloth, pretty close to the edge. I'm staying, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the punch needle. Because when you try and turn this around, you're going to have to fold this up every so often. It makes it a touch easier to fold back if you have it clipped. It will fold over and lay much flatter instead of having little puckers in there. So clip up to about an eighth of an inch, about you know, half inch spacing. Some people clip triangles. I find that's not necessary. It lays flat without the triangles. So I'll clip all the way around this and then we'll iron that back. So you can do this with curved edges. Say these upper edges are straight. Um, you would just clip the bottom. This is really just for curved edges. Flat edges will lay right back nicely. This also works nicely for concave curves, so the opposite. Okay, there we go. Now, I'll get my iron fired up, and we will be laying this back on itself to get rid of that weaver's cloth around the edges. Alrighty, let me go get my iron fired up. I'll be right back. Okay, normally I would be doing this on my ironing board, but because I have my tripod set up here on my table in my studio, I'm going to work on a towel. And what you want to do, and you got to be very careful with your fingers, I have mine set on the maximum. Um, the highest it will possibly go because I'm not going to hold it there for any length of time. So I'm going to come in and I am going to press that, pulling each tab in as I go and press the weaver's cloth to the inside so it's not going to be seen. And you just keep running along the outside edge. Be careful not to hit your fingers. And this pattern is called A Christmas Moon. And it's available in my Etsy shop. It's a three-strand punch. Using DMC. Alrighty, that's it. So everything's pressed in. Nicely. And it'll make it much easier to put your wool backing on. So that was easy enough, right? And that's the way it looks on the finished edge. I've decided to use this 
brown. You can use whatever you like. And what I'm going to do is make sure all the weaver's cloth is tucked in. And it's not to waste wool. I'm going to get semi close to the edge, leaving about an eighth of an inch around the outside edge. And with a normal pair of scissors, I'm going to go around and cut about an eighth of an inch, sixteenth to an eighth of an inch around the outside edge of the circle. Get this corner careful not to cut your loops I'm not really that close because it's going to fold over and create a nice edge so you won't be able to see any of the weaver's cloth on the side of the punch okay now I'm going to flip it over and next we're going to pin that piece of wool into place. So I just go around and plug in a few. I don't go all the way through to the front. I tuck my the ball of my pin down underneath so my thread isn't constantly getting caught up on it. And I'm touching just the back, going through the wool, going through the folded over weavers and hitting just the touch of the back of the punch needle. And we'll pin it all the way around. Okay, that's that all pinned. I'm going to flip it over and check, check the edge. See how this is a little bit further out than what, what I want it to be. Can you see that right here? So I'm going to trim just a little bit of that off. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, let me go grab my needle and thread and we'll do a couple stitches in here to show you what I do. Be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you how I add the back of the wool and stitch the edges here. Um, what I do um, is come up through the back and catch the edge of the weaver's cloth. Come over a quarter of an inch, hit the edge of the weavers, go down through the back, and I hold the loops with my thumb and pull the thread down. That way the thread is concealed behind the loops. Bring the, bring the thread over from the back, come down in the same place, quarter inch, and through to the back and then come back up to the front. Come over a quarter inch, go down through the back, hold your loops or your thread up so it goes behind the loops. It's now through the back, bring it over to the front and go down in the same quarter inch. Come up through the back, 
to the front. Come over a quarter inch. Down through the back, hold the loop. Holding the loop feeds it right behind, right behind the loops. So you're going over, but you never see that thread on the front. All right, so we're through the back. Bring it over to the front. Come down in the same spot, a quarter inch, through to the back, and back up to the front. And you can also blanket stick stitch if you want to. This is just one of the ways I have no clue what it's called. I'm not even sure if it's named, but I do a lot of mine this way. I tend to find one a thicker piece of wool on the outer edge, then I blanket stitch. If I want a finer piece, I do it this way. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. So that's, that's basically the edge from the front. It's a nice rim around the edge. And from the back, you get a nice dot stitch, dot stitch. Okay. I wanted to show you how I finish off the knot. When I run, I'm running low with thread and I still have a little bit to go. So I wanted to show you how I finish off doing knot. Take a little bit of wool, just a little bit, pull it through and create a loop. Go through the loop and then pull tight. Then what I do is I take and run through the wool and go down about an inch and pull it down and then snip off the residual. And that's how I create a knot at the end of my thread. All right, we'll continue on. I'll finish this up and meet you back. All righty. Okay, that finishes that up for the finished edge. Um, pretty simple to do. And wishing you happy punching. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Thank you. Bye now. Mm -hmm.